Hi, let's continue with our discussion on single purpose building blocks. Now what this means is that there are two, two aspects to this title, the building blocks that are provided in Python for us to build structures, to build more complex codes and logic based on simpler building blocks. And these building blocks are Python structures that are recognized throughout the whole Python interpreter so that your code can be used elsewhere, can be used in future as well. Now in Python, uh, it is built into Python the ability to run functions. So a bunch of codes that are related in nature to deliver a particular goal in logic, for example, to calculate the average of three numbers. This goal uh, will require a bunch of instructions, right? How do you add up all the numbers and how do you count how many numbers there are if necessary and to divide by the number of numbers in order to arrive at an average. Now, this is a simple formula. We could actually end up trying to program even much more complex formulas or algorithms. So when we have these codes, we can repeatedly apply the average formula or we can use function to group them together so that we just repeatedly call that same logic but with different data. So in this sense, we allow ourselves to kind of factor out, you know, tease out the common logic and bunch them up in a single function. So that is the idea about a building block. Now, the other half of this topic is about single purpose. We could build a function that's arbitrarily complex, very rich in features and, and ability to do various kinds of formulas all in one. The all in one concept is against the good practice of single purpose. All right, so in other words, when we have this building block uh, structure called function, we should aim towards having one function delivering one uh, purpose, one computation, one calculation goal, one logic. So for example, when we are talking about calculating average, we should be aiming towards writing a function that delivers just average. Sometimes it is possible because of programming uh, complexities and requirements, we may want to modify the average a little bit in terms of allowing average to not only take or calculate the average of integers, but also floating point numbers. Just a very simple example, right? Because data type is very um, peculiar and specific to Python, and it really doesn't concern the end user. End user just wants to average out three numbers, isn't it? Yeah. So in that case, our function, even though it's single purpose in terms of calculating average, can have a little bit of uh, uh, not just one purpose, but 1.5 or 1.7 uh, units of purpose, uh, possibly. But definitely not providing 10 different algorithms, 10 different possible ways to do calculations. So that's one idea about building block using functions. When we apply uh, such idea to multiple functions, for example, now using this average function, we apply that same idea to calculating maximum of three years of profits. Okay, minimum of three years of profits, and not just profits, but three years of revenues, three years of uh, assets, three years of current liabilities. Yeah, we are, we are just basically doing that. And when we do that and apply across various different numbers that make sense in me, in uh, in uh, business such as those numbers coming from financial statements three-year financial statements of a business right then it makes sense to bunch up all these 10 20 even 30 functions together in a file for example we can call that collection of related functions right they are they are kind of single purpose at a higher level where these functions and calculations they are very oriented towards uh, calculating numbers and, and in fact more specifically targeted towards applying uh, to numbers 
in financial statements of perhaps listed companies. So in that case, we should not be writing 20 files where each file has one function. That will not be the right way. Instead, because these functions are related, even though from function to function they are very, very different, one is average, one is maximum, one is minimum, they are all kind of at a higher level serving a single purpose, uh, such as calculations. Right? So we can group them under a file, a single file. Python calls that a module. So file is module, module is file. In its uh, easiest simplicity, you can think of it that way. So a file having 10, 20 related functions, or even more, uh, but they are related. So you, you kind of uh, don't, <laughs> don't want to uh, uh, very cruelly tear them apart into two halves, because then it, it, it's uh, rather unsightly and also logically very hard for us to think which functions should fall into which file. So you can bunch them up. So long as it makes sense, it's actually cleaner to have this, this file. And we call it meaningfully calculations. Notice that it is also a building block because now this file is one entity in your, for Windows, it will be Explorer. For uh, Mac, it will be Finder. So in each directory, you find this file uh, delivering the set of calculations meant for calculating financial statement numbers. Yeah, okay, so that's single purpose in that higher level sense. And the building block now is not a function, but a file. When you have a lot of modules that are related and you want to, and because they are all related, for example, it's not only calculating functions, it's calculating functions uh, that are not just for numbers, but also for vectors and also for complex numbers, and also for, uh, you know, matrices. And they are, uh, there are cases where it's pretty extreme and it's quite unstable, but uh, you have already optimized, fine-tuned the, the functions, and they are very, very uh, specifically tuned towards calculating vectors, matrices, uh, the basic arithmetic plus minus times divide and, and all that stuff very accurately. Then, it doesn't quite make sense to say this is a module right, for vector arithmetic, this is a module for matrix because they are by and large pretty related and they sometimes make use of common set of library functions to make all their, to, to deliver all their calculation goals. So in that sense, these modules are by themselves also related. And then again, at a higher level, we want to group them together. Python provides this feature called package or wheel. You might have heard of this. And this is one part that is pretty advanced, uh, meant for you know, distributing to other developer programmers to make use of your package and all that stuff. So you can read about that in future. Maybe someday you will get to this. But this is uh, an aspect I want to just introduce and will not get into deeper. But when I sort of put it here, it gives you a sense of the the uh, depth that Python supports this concept of building codes from single purpose in a very microscopic sense to single purpose in a very macro sense to deliver uh, a general you know, um, set of services or calculations or logic to deliver uh, those in, in uh, providing support for certain business calculations or goals. So as a general good practice, uh, each function, each module, each package, each wheel should serve or deliver one purpose, maybe one and a half, right? But not 10 different uh, purposes, not 20 different uh, ideas, and not 30 different disparate computations that nobody knows what actually this package is all about. So when we import a package like uh, the, the very famous NumPy, we know it's all about numbers. It's all about numbers, numbers in Python, that's why NumPy. So when you have uh, intensive calculations pertaining to vector uh, algebra, you don't rewrite yourself again, you go for NumPy. So that's what it means. And, and because of that single purpose delivery, uh, it becomes you know, very appropriate. It's a bit like playing with apps. When your app is about banking, you know that when you run that, it connects you to the bank. 
when your app is about um, game and uh, you know uh, shoot them all game then when you run this you know you are ready to have action and uh, some fun you wouldn't want an app that is like uh, run me whether you like banking or games or news reading or google search or whatnot right you, it's, it's like insane it's it's just diffusing the entire idea of the app icon all right so let's let's get into a python code and um, give an example um, so the idea is for example that if we have um, the need to do calculations all right so let's say where's my calculations hmm, okay so if there's a need to do calculation for simplicity let's just say i'm averaging three numbers so we know the the uh formula let's say just just fix three not two not one not four right so so it's very very restricted way uh, let's say I have to calculate the average of 1, 2, and 3. Now we have to mentally translate, right? The average is sum of, of all numbers divided by the number of numbers. But then I realize I have to um, calculate the average of another set of numbers. So let's say I need to calculate 2, 7, and 9. So I have to calculate 2, Notice that I'm again translating in my mind the sum of all numbers, right? Then divided by the number of numbers, isn't it? It would be nice, uh, well before that, let me just increase the disaster and other by another layer. Uh, so I have to average yet another three numbers, three, seven and one. It would be nice if we can factor out, you know, uh, sort of extract out the common logic, which is to average. Although the numbers are different, the sense of calculations is actually the same. In fact, we are translating from the same average formula. So in Python, the way to extract the logic, all right, the logic is to use function. Let's just define a function that takes three numbers, x1, x2, and x3. And we say that we are going to return the sum of these three numbers divided by three. So that's my average function. Okay. So it would be then possible for me to say uh, y is equal to average of one, two, and three. Now, and d average equals to average of 2, 7, and 9, and d2 average is just average of 3, 7, and 1. So you see here, x and y are the same. Data average and d average, same. Data 2 average and d2 average, same calculation. Except when we do the function called average of three numbers, it's very explicitly uh, clear that we are averaging it. Why? Because we choose a very uh, decent descriptive name to tell us that we are running a function that does an average. Okay, so let's just run it and see. So if we interrogate Python interpreter, we say what's the value of x? They are the same. Uh, data average and d average, they are the same. Data 2 average and d2 average. They are the same, all right? So that is single purpose function because we extract it out. And so we actually no longer need these three statements. Let's try to save this, all right? Uh, so I'm going to save as, um, let's say in this folder, Python online, uh, calculations.py. I'm going to just save it, overwrite the whole file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. So, so assume that you have written this some years ago, okay, or somebody else has written this and you just downloaded this code from the T 